Hello everyone, thank you for coming to Question and Research, Research Channel. Today the topic will be Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So today is the day, January 18th, 2021, where we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born January 15th, 1929. This became a federal holiday on, in 1983, but it became official to celebrate in 1986. So we usually celebrate MLK Day, which stands for Martin Luther King, every third Monday in January. All 50 states in, in the year 2000 made MLK Day a government holiday. The first attempt to make it a holiday was in 1968, four days after he was assassinated. 11 years to make it a federal holiday to vote in the House of Representatives, Florida in 1979. The proposal failed five times, so you need two-thirds to pass it. A celebrity by the name of Stevie Wonder, he's a known singer, he rewrote the Happy Birthday song because people were very in much support of having uh, Martin Luther King Jr. to have be commemorated as a hero for the United States and equalities among race. So... In 1983, when it was passed, it passed by 53 votes. President Ronald Reagan signed the bill in 1983. In 1986, 17 states already adopted it. Arizona was one of the last states who opposed like Martin Luther King Day, MLK Day. The NFL threatened the state of Arizona um, that they would not play at play the Super Bowl game there and they didn't play there and they moved the game somewhere else. By, ne by two years later, Arizona decided to make Martin Luther King Jr. MLK Day as a part of a state federal holiday. So the man that was responsible for MLK Day was John Coyers. Now he's the oldest member in Congress that served. He knew Martin Luther King Day, and he was the one that proposed that after four days after Martin Luther King was killed in Memphis, Tennessee, in Memphis, Tennessee, to have an MLK Day. It was some controversy because Martin Luther King was not an American president. So therefore, it was there were some uphill battles for people to consider to consider this as a federal holiday for a man who was of color, who was black and who believed in civil liberties. And people really believe that at the time in the 1960s that he was a troublemaker and he, he really wasn't. He just wanted civil liberties for black people as well as other people as well. So Dr. King is known for his, his famous speech, I Have a Dream. And one thing that really stood out to me was um, the part when he talked about con people being judged on the content of their, of their character and not their color. I want to thank you for tuning in to Questioning and Research. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And I will have another topic soon. Thank you.